Praise be to Lord Jesus Christ. I'm so delighted to meet you after a week. I hope you all are doing good. Do you recall what we learned in our last class? Yes, it was about the Christian personality. So today we are continuing with the same topic, chapter 4, part 2, grooming Christian personality. So before we begin, let us pray. And for the prayer, let me take a verse from the Bible. Luke chapter 2, verse 40. The child grew and became strong, filled with wisdom, and the favor of God was upon him. Lord Jesus Christ, thank you for giving this word to us. We are trying to learn how to be a true Christian and how to inculcate the qualities of a Christian personality in us. Lord, help us to keep you as the role model, how you have grown up to your earthly parents. At Nazareth, help us also to grow up with the same grace of God and to become a reflection of you in this today world. Lord, send us your Holy Spirit Fill us with your Holy Spirit and Holy Spirit, please guide us with wisdom that we tackle our day-to-day -day life with wisdom and we conquer it. All these we ask in the name of Jesus. Amen. Before we go into the discussion of uh, the second part of the topic, let us recall what we have learned in the previous class. So we learned what is personality, what are the different dimensions of personality. So by definition, we learned that personality is the specific and dynamic traits that determines one's character, culture, thoughts, emotions, beliefs, and so on. In other words, we can say that the personality is what which you leave an impression on the others or how you mark an influence on others. In other words, you can say that personality in, is a totality of a person's physical, spiritual and social makeup. So we learned the different dimensions of personality like physical, coming to the second part which is skill based and the third one which is spiritual which we value the most because it is value-based. And in the value-based part, we come across the value aspects like love, justice, truthfulness, the feeling of responsibility, service-mindedness, care for our neighbors, holiness, and so on. According to Golden Alport, personality is what a person totally is. In today's class, we are going to discuss how to groom the Christian personality. To groom the Christian personality, there are three ways which are suggested according to your textbook. The first one is self-awareness. The second is Jesus as the role model. And the third is to follow the example of the saints. So let us see one by one how these factors will help us to groom a Christian personality. The first one is self-awareness. What do you mean by self-awareness? Yes, knowing oneself. I know what I am. I know who I am. I know what is my potentials. I know what are my weaknesses. Isn't it? Same is the case with each one of you. We have strengths, we have weaknesses, both in the physical attributes as well as in the spiritual realm. So we are a totality of all these as a person. So it is essential to have a clear understanding of one's aspects to understand where we stand and what is the area that we need to 
reform so that our personality grooms up to be a perfect one. In the case of developing a Christian personality, the awareness about the Christian conscience is one of the very important aspect. In the first John chapter 3 verse 1, we read, See what love the Father has given us. We are called the children of God and that is what we are. We are called the children of God. This is the first level of awareness of a Christian personality. So we examine ourselves in the light of the teachings of Jesus Christ. That is how we try to groom a Christian personality. We are called the children of God. So then what is the aim of our life? To reach God. To reach God means to attain salvation, the eternal life. And then, how can this be done? Yes, by leading a true Christian life. What is a true Christian life? A life that is envisaged by Jesus. How did he teach this to us? Jesus showed throughout his life how to be good with others, how to be compassionate with others, how to show mercy for those who are deserving and what is the value of acts of mercy for attaining salvation? He said, when I was hungry, you fed me. When I was thirsty, you gave me water to drink. And you know the verses following it. And finally, he says, when we ask him, Lord, I didn't know. When did we do this? He says, when you do this to the least of my brethren, you have done this to me. So this is what our Lord expects from us for the process of salvation, in order to attain salvation. In today's life, how can we learn or how can we practice this? It is through the prayers, through the sacraments, through the teachings of the Holy Church is that to get the awareness and make us stick on to it. The second point under grooming the Christian personality is Jesus as the role model. So Jesus said, be perfect because I am perfect. As my father is perfect, so am I. So these were the words of Jesus. So he expect to be perfect in the, in the world to attain the life of salvation. And when we examine the life of Jesus, we can divide it into different phases like his childhood, his uh, public life, then his sufferings, his resurrection and so on. So there is no much description about his childhood given except for three or four incidents. But in that one remarkable incident or the remarkable way in which his childhood is being developed is what is the verse that we read in the beginning of the class today. Luke chapter 2 verse 40. The same is explained in the verse 52 as well. And the verse says like this. And the child grew and became strong. He was filled with wisdom and grace of God was upon him. And the verse 52 says, And Jesus grew in wisdom and stature and in favor of God and man. So we, the children, we have to keep Jesus as our role model, keep him as an example, or keep him as a reference for our every actions, for our every plans, for our every decisions, and for our every activities in life. How to practice the Christian spirituality today, or how to practice to gain a Christian personality today? It is possible by prayer. The first thing what we can do to attain this is prayer, because in prayer we talk to our Father. And when we talk to our father, the father reveals before us 
how he wishes his children to be. And secondly, following the sacramental life. And thirdly, denying the luxury and pleasures of the world and thirsting for the spiritual wisdom. The last part under grooming the Christian personality is to follow the example of the saints. You know how many Catholic saints we have? Do you have the list of it? Have you ever counted how many saints are venerated under the Catholic Church? There are more than 10,000. Who were they? They were also just another human being like us. Then how was it possible for them? How did they behave differently that they could get such a position? A saint is a person who is seated on the altar, who has reverence at the altar. So how they could rise the position on to the altar? How they could rise to a position at the altar is through the unique life that they have followed. They were true warriors. They have fighted against the will and pleasures of the world. And each saint, if you examine, you can say that each one was unique in their quality. So let us have a quick look at certain saints and what are they patrons for. So we have Saint Joseph as the patron saint of laborers, Saint Thomas More as the patron saint of politicians, Saint Charles Borromeo, the patron saint of catechists, Saint Teresa and Saint Francis Xavier, the patron saint of missionaries. Saint Berkmans, the patron saint of altar servers. Saint John Maria Vianney, the patron saint of clergy. Dominic Savio, the patron saint of children. Don Bosco, the patron saint of youth. And the list never ends. And now we know that recently there are two names which are being heard very often. And one is the Carlo Aquitus. A 15 year old boy who is now beatified as a servant of God. He was just a normal boy like you. How could he attain this? Because he did a heroic life and a diff life which is different from others for the love of his Christ. Similarly, Sister Rani Maria. She was stabbed 54 times by a man called Samandar Singh. And still, she said to her last breath that, Jesus, I love you. And these are the examples of the people that we could follow to groom our personality that would reflect the real Christian meaning. We discussed in today's class, what are the ways in which we can groom Christian personality? The first one is to have the self-awareness. The second is to keep Jesus as a role model. And the third is to follow the example of the saints. So I hope this class would enlighten you and help you to form your personality which is desirable to our God and that you lead a Christian faith, a Christian life and you become examples of living Christ among your friends. Let us conclude this class with a prayer. Almighty Father, thank you for this time that you have given us, the opportunity that you have given us to learn more about Jesus and the saints and to accept them into our lives and keep them as our models and examples so that we can groom ourselves to become a Christ-like person, a person who is acceptable to our Father and thus we attain salvation. All these we ask in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Mm -hmm.